says you need to hit them where it hurts, inflict as much suffering as possible, and make it clear your tribe is a terror to their existence. Murder and mayhem and other terrible things happen. He's sure you've seen it before. Here's the first line of defense. It's a bomb lobber. Give those twirly wheels a turn. Yes, the river tub's going down the drain. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. Says they've been treated fair, but is glad to see you. Hopes you'll treat the rivals with the same respect they treated them. Wishes there was another way, but they'll do their best.
a sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the Red Ray. Here's the second line of defense. Timber. Then a big bump will bring it down. shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks loaded. Shoot it, kaboom. You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. Says you're lucky to have the honor. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. Mpa, wherefore, where where? He had a feeling you'd get along with the Jagni tribe, but it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. Your positive outlook on life might be just what the Jagni tribe needs to complement theirs, which is somewhat darker. But Out of Date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the World Eaters. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of Date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The Porky Puff needs to be handled. Yeah. 
Ça va être un mot, hein. Et pas au tombeau pour du courrier. He says the time has come to confront the porky puff at the end of the east route. Ya, you mawa. Goop is working on making his goo glide strong enough to break the waves out to the world eater. Loa tolu tum, mauketo tolu ayadre. You should get over there and see what you can do to help. Let's see what you can make. There are places up ahead far worse than this.
Let's see. That's a gnote. Easy prey for Looper Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. A pip bush that's nom nom for the gnotes. Hard to see the forest when you're in the trees. The plague that's ruining the land needs to be stopped. You found the whereabouts, the deepest, darkest forest in the land, sometimes hard to see for all the trees. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. The rails used to be filled with chugs packed tight with two-leggeds, 
like guppos in a tin. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to the booty instead of playing around with sprites. This is an epic already. How it ends is up to you. Bomper bonkers. B Let's see. That ain't bad. You can make something from that. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames? Let's see. Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. It 
it's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. There's no time to look back. Too busy moving on. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. Light instantly banishes dark. The dark strikes back. That's not that dark. More like long shadows. The shadows are growing longer again. We'll beat them back. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? <laughs> Figures you're either a rare person or a good liar. Maybe both. <laughs> Sad to see the Tree of Life is going to die and take everything with it, but it's not like he didn't expect it. <laughs> Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things, you were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Jagni. They always hunker down in their homes, gathering their things around them. Says home is a base, but it doesn't have to be everything. The world is wider than you know. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone, so you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Puff. That's what he decided to call it after he saw it for the first time. It's big and fluffy, that's accurate enough. If you can see past the blue color, that is.
The tribes need someone to unite them. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. That's a resource totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. Nice, some bark wood scrap for you. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Your chest is squeezing. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. This box once tailed a chugger chugger. Now it's just off track. Look at that! Right in the chug yard! Follow the rails and you'll find all sorts of little treasures scattered all over the place. Of course not, but they get you closer to wherever you might want to go. Good work finding that track. They can teach you so much about the world. Keep looking for more. Pick up the pace race.
It's all about destiny. Yours, mine, the entire world's. The day is here.
That there's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. Don't forget the past. Learn from it. Lots of notices on the board for things that made sense in the days when the surf was a lot cleaner. Interesting to see what they cared about here. Wonder if any of it matters now. In the old days, this was a port for boats that went under the surf. They helped clog the surf into goo. Toxanol didn't do it on purpose, I don't think. Their machines made a mess though, and they never cleaned up after themselves. You should be able to find a track here, just need to keep your eyes open. Let's see. Hey, you found the track, even around all this goopy goo. Nothing escapes your googly eye. The surf here looked cleaner when that track was made. It wasn't easy to peer through the surf, but there are eyebox tapes on record that shows they knew what kind of mutated creatures their contamination had created. Glad you had the patience to learn more about how the surf got gooed. Gulpo ain't the easiest tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim? Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He knows he's easy to remember. There's no one out there as cuckoo as him. He's one of a kind. Goop says our memory keeps things for us and protects them until we are ready to face them again. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. He understands why you seek revenge, but he doesn't think you realize how that'll make you feel once you claimed it. Take that light! Really, you ought to use your head instead of your gut. See? The darkness lets you get away with anything. Just remember, you can always find light in the dark. Dark? When you already know you're right. Says life on the goo is wide open. You have so many choices of where to go. 
Some harder than others, of course. Which kind do you like? Hit the open surf, then. The trouble is you can only rely on yourself, at least until you reach a new shore and make new friends. Figures the world is a goner. Even the goo will go gone gone. Thanks you for doing everything you could to de-goop the surf. Wonders why you're flapping around with the Jagni. They spend too much time nesting to do anything fun. Figures you must have met different Jagni than he has. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. It's not that it won't keep your head above the surface, but it needs improving to carry you across the thick goo out by the Porky Puff. Whatever you do, do it right, or don't do it at all. Bring on the night.
Keep on tracking down here and things will look up eventually. Just a few moves left, make them count. Swing, parry, dodge. Lighter every moment.
Wow, wow. for those scars. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution of wildlife was, as we know now, the only reason we came to exist. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. We all share the same destiny, destruction or survival. He's got the goo glide functional. You'll have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor, and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surfipelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink, He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. That's where he bobs. Gulp refuses to move from that barge, despite the fact it makes him burf. Goop's not sure, though, if it's the surf sickness or the radium syrup that causes it.
Ah, life on the goo. <laughs>